Buckle up. We have the wildest news for you today. Mike Tyson just knocked out Floyd Mayweather in a sparring session. Yeah, you heard that right. Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet, just put Money Mayweather on the canvas, and we've got all the details for you. So we know Mike Tyson is making a return to the realm of boxing this November 15th. He's set to fight Jake Paul, a guy who's been collecting knockouts like coins off the road. This guy is on a roll, so Mike knew he needed the best training possible. And let's just say it doesn't get better than having Floyd Mayweather as your sparring partner. But things took a wild turn when one of the sessions got heated and Tyson ended up putting Floyd on the canvas. There's a lot to discuss with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. When it was first announced that they were bringing in Floyd to help Tyson be the best possible version of himself going into the Paul fight, everyone had their doubts. This is a super alliance. You brought two of the best fighters of all time. You never know what could happen. I commend Tyson, because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Um, boxing with them. While Mike Tyson hasn't always agreed with how Floyd approached his boxing career, Mayweather grew up looking up to Tyson. So when the opportunity came to train with Tyson, Floyd didn't let it slide. How do you feel about Floyd, though? Huh? How do you feel about awesome Floyd? Awesome fighter, great fighter. You know, he, he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way, too, but you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be fucking arrogant. You expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question earlier about you mentoring fighters, because I feel like I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood, we looked at it like that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was a movie star. You was a you was a hero. But hey, all that respect went out the window during their spar. Tyson and Mayweather met up for a sparring session at Tyson's gym. Now, sparring is usually pretty low-key. Just some light work to stay sharp, right? Well, not this time. According to insiders, things got heated real quick. These are two of the most competitive dudes on the planet, so you already know they weren't going to take it easy. Sources are saying that what was supposed to be a friendly sparring match turned into an all-out war. Tyson, who's been focusing on power and aggression in his training, went all in. Mayweather, of course, relied on his speed and defense to keep Tyson at bay. But here's the thing. Iron Mike wasn't playing around. He kept pressing, cutting off the ring, and landing heavy shots. But what played a major difference was the weight difference. Tyson was much heavier, so when he connected Floyd with this scary uppercut, it was over. Floyd crashed down to the canvas. Now, how did a friendly spar turn into a title fight? Well, Mike wasn't always a fan of Floyd. He even once claimed that, as much as Floyd is good at boxing, he's not good for boxing. And that's fair, because Floyd is the reason why these new fighters care more about money than boxing. We don't get to see the fights we want to see, because everyone's now chasing bank. And you can blame Floyd for that. Who by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. Now back to the spar. We know how Floyd rolls, of course. He was throwing verbal jabs, too, in the ring with Tyson. That's his persona. But hey, Tyson didn't like that. He started putting more power in his shots. And the next thing, you know, Floyd is on the canvas. Now, obviously, this wasn't a pro fight, but still, knocking out Floyd Mayweather is no small feat. Even in sparring, it's a massive deal. And it just goes to show that Tyson, even at 58 years old, still has that terrifying knockout power. 
I mean, this is the guy who was once the youngest heavyweight champion in history, and now he's knocking out Floyd Mayweather in training? Absolute madness. So, what does this mean for Tyson's upcoming fight with Jake Paul? Well, if you're Jake Paul right now, you've got to be sweating bullets. Tyson just knocked out Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest defensive boxers ever, in a sparring session. That's got to be a huge confidence boost for Mike and a major warning for Jake. Tyson's power is clearly still a force to be reckoned with. And if he brings that same intensity into the ring against Jake Paul, it could be lights out for the YouTuber. I mean, if Floyd couldn't hang with Tyson, then you can't even imagine what's going to happen to Jake Paul. I love Mike, I respect him, but we're not friends anymore. Until November 15th, I'm knocking this mother and we're going to see who's dead. We will see who's dead. Mike, when you hear Jake Paul say, though, we're going to see who's dead, what does that do to you? Do, does that make you put yourself in the mindset of understanding that this young killer wants to take you out? Is he really a young killer? Yeah, you had to go on your little menopause break and postpone the fight, so yeah. Your tummy hurts still? I feel, I feel a lot better now. We cover all your fights in Atlantic City. Are we going to see the Atlantic City that you showed back in the 90s on November, November 15th. 15th? Hey, listen, as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. Of course, the boxing community is losing its mind over this news. We've got reactions pouring in from all over the place. Some people are saying it's just sparring, so it doesn't mean much, but others are hyped thinking Tyson's gonna destroy Jake Paul in their fight. Cause that's what every boxing fan wants, to see Jake Paul get knocked out. But what about Floyd? What's next for Money Mayweather after this? He's always been the king of comebacks, and you know he's not going to let this slide. Even though it's just sparring, Mayweather's ego is too big to accept a defeat. I mean, the guy has never lost in a pro bout. So this one's gonna sting him for sure. I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd calls Tyson out for a match to get his revenge. Say what you want about Floyd, but he's the most influential fighter we've seen. This guy has all the control over the industry. He can make this fight happen if he wants. We're talking about a guy who literally hired a ref mid-fight and brought in another just because he didn't like the calls he was making. Floyd Mayweather versus Mike Tyson isn't far out of the question. After beating up John Gotti, Floyd went straight back to training. And this time, he's training with Shakur Stevenson. So you know those sessions are gonna be intense. Floyd's back in the gym, and there's gotta be a reason why. If a fight with Mike Tyson is that reason, then we're for the fight of the century. that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.